بسم اللہ السلام علیکم پاکستان ویلکم بیک ٹو کارپوریٹ گورننس اینڈ وی ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ لسٹڈ کمپنیز ٹوڈے وی گن ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ ویری امپارٹنٹ ٹاپک وچ از دا رول آف ڈائریکٹرز ان اے لسٹڈ کمپنی اینڈ ڈیفینیٹلی ان اے لسٹڈ کمپنی دی ڈائریکٹر پلیز پیوٹل رول ان دا بورڈ آف ڈائریکٹرز اینڈ وی سی دیٹ دے آر دی کسٹوڈینس آف کارپوریٹ گورننس ان اینی لسٹڈ آرگنائزیشن ناؤ وین وی ٹاک اباؤٹ دا رول آف ڈائریکٹرز دین اٹ از ویری امپارٹنٹ that there should be effective representation of non-executive directors representing the minority interest. Now, the problem which basically arises in the minority interest is, is that many a times the elections are doctored or are pre-planned by the management, which is extremely abhorrent. Why? Because what we see is, is that they don't want to have minority, minority representation. So what they do is that they tend to place a minority shareholder And based upon that, uh, everything is pre-planned uh, so that whoever is the minority director, he or she can be manipulated or exploited by the management. Now, this is something which is absolutely unacceptable. And therefore, proper caution should be taken uh, in the appointment of a minority, uh, a minority director. Now, when we're talking about uh, the contestation of the uh, minority shareholders, then there should be at least one. or one third of independent directors. So that is also very important. And that is something that cannot be excluded. And the management and the previous board of directors should ensure that there is a proper representation and there is no playing around or otherwise the very essence of having a board which is uh, multi-stakeholder represented and again, which has a, a mixed flavor representing different stakeholders and shareholders Uh, would not be there. And therefore, making sure that the election process is clean, uh, is merit-oriented, uh, is transparent, and again, there is a proper following of the stipulations as given by the Securities Exchange Commission of Pakistan is extremely important, and any deviation should be properly uh, dealt with and also should be punished. Now, when we're talking about the general provisions, then no more than one-third would be executive directors. And the chairman and CFO should not be the same. So sometimes we see that the chairman and the CEO, the chief executive officer, can be the same individual, but under no circumstance can the chairman and the chief financial officer be the same individual. So that is extremely important. We have to ensure that uh, the proper job descriptions, uh, the proper job specifications, and the proper regulations are followed in totality and not again uh, with uh, any manipulation or exploitation. or otherwise uh, that company would be suffering in the long run. We also have to see that who are not qualified. So the first thing is that any director should not be serving in more than seven companies. And those seven companies do not include uh, the subsidiaries. He or she should be a taxpayer. He should not have been convicted as a defaulter. Both uh, the director or their spouse should want to be on, involved in any stock brokerage business because otherwise, again, they would be a possibility of manipulation within the stocks and that has to be avoided and that is why we need to have these independent directors who cannot be influenced and there can be no conflict of interest uh, based upon their responsibilities and duties as directors uh, of the board. Uh, the responsibilities of the directors are immense and they would vary from organization to organization but again uh, the primary responsibilities are first of all that whatever authority, whatever decisions or whatever power that they are exerting should be independent. Uh, there should be circulation of statements of ethics and business practices, and they should be responsible to chalk out the strategic direction of the organization by basically drafting their mission and vision statement of an organization, which is extremely important. They also should uh, be responsible for the design and implementation of different policies, which we talked about in the other session, that there are so many policies which have to be looked after and so many frameworks. which also have to be developed so that there can be an element of corporate governance uh, within that listed company. Uh, there should be a, a clear database and that database should not be manipulated. Uh, manipulated. And again, uh, that data would be focusing into the different policies of that particular listed organization. Uh, there should be the launching of an effective internal control. And again, uh, there could be independent departments. And when we are talking about that, then Decisions on material transactions and significant matters, that is also responsibility of the directors. 
and making and accepting appointments, remunerations, terms of the chief executive officer and other executives or chief officers is extremely important. So, these are the individual and joint responsibilities of the director and the directors uh, as a whole so that they can create a management structure which would be beneficial for the whole company. And they also have to approve and execute uh, the investment policies, define the role and responsibilities of the chairman and the chief executive and that again uh, is extremely important because we don't want to have overlaps, we don't want to have a conflict, uh, we don't want to see uh, that because of a state of confusion uh, there would be a trickle down effect within the organization and that would create a lot of chaos. So, all of these are extremely important in the context uh, of the directors. They should be looking after some very important issues within organizations such as the annual business plans, the cash flow projections and the forecasts, the quarterly operating results, the internal audits and the details of joint ventures. So, again, uh, what we see, ladies and gentlemen, is that the role of the director in a listed company is not just limited to board meetings, is not limited to just signing off on different reports uh, or uh, just to uh, basically do some window dressing. The role of the director is extremely important and it is a multilateral and multifunctional role which ensures that there is more clarity, uh, there is more transparency, there is more accountability, there is more integrity within the strategic and the tactical operations of a particular organization and then they also have to chalk out the future of that organization so that things are done in a better way and again are done according to the rules laws and regulations of the land. Thank you so much.